Galaxy S8 is no doubt one of the best smartphones of this year and pushing this device to its very limit and getting the most out of it will be a pleasure. Hey what's up guys this is John and you're watching Gadgetize and today I'm going to be showing you the best custom ROM that I've found and used for the Galaxy S8. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the UI on the Galaxy S8 is already very smooth and fluid, but of course we're Android users and we really like customizing our devices. So this method or the ROM that we're using is going to work on several models. I'll leave the link for the XDA forum in the description below, just below that like button. And the model that I have here is the 955F, which is the S8 Plus. This is going to work for both for the S8 regular and the S8 Plus too. So just let's quickly hop to the XDA page and see what we have here. Moving over to the XDA forum page, we have the disclaimer which clearly states that the developer and also me, we are not responsible for any damage that happens to your device while flashing this ROM. So we have the latest AQH3 firmware which will be updated by the time I upload this video obviously because Samsung is really rolling out some software updates. So it has ton of new features which are not available on the regular firmware from Samsung. This also has some features from the Galaxy Note 8, the live message feature which I'm really excited about. So just quickly download the zip file that we get in this page and then I will just quickly hop into the recovery mode and flash the ROM. So as you can see here that I've downloaded the ROM already. It's about 3, 2.5 to 3, 3 gigabytes depending on what package you download. So I'm quickly going to reboot into the recovery and then we will flash the ROM. So cool part is that this ROM comes with Aroma installed and really easy for amateur people which are new into the ROM flashing things. So I'm here in TWRP recovery and if you do not have a recovery installed then I suggest you to install a recovery first. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is make a clean wipe of the system because that is going to help with a lot of issues that might occur while installing the ROM. So I'm just going to swipe to wipe. I've not selected the internal storage. You can choose to wipe it, but I'm just not going to do that right now. So it is going to just wipe all of the partitions really quickly. I'm going to head back and install the custom ROM now. I'm gonna hit on install and navigate to the zip file that we have just downloaded. I suggest you to put the zip file on the root of your SD card because that is going to help while navigating as I have done here. So I'm going to choose the ROM file and swipe to flash and this is gonna take some time. Just have some patience, grab a coffee and relax. So it will start Aroma installer really soon. Just wait for that. As you can see here, it is displaying the Ambassador ROM logo and the Aroma installer has just started. Just click on next and here have we have the change log. So it is asking if you want to make a full wipe. I suggest you to make a full wipe just to avoid bugs and crashes. So in this ROM we have three options for the kernel, notorious kernel, bad stock and the stock kernel. I'm gonna go with the bad stock kernel to get the best battery life. So firmware update, yes obviously we want to update. So here it is all up to you, the SU and the CSC. CSC is like the region, the code. I'm gonna choose United Kingdom because that does not have any sort of bloatware. So here on the add-ons you can really customize the way you install all your apps so as you can see that we have nothing that is necessary for the system it all depends on you you can choose to install any app you like i will just go with the stock apps as i would like to be very light and deep loaded you can also have noted air command feature but i'm not going to go with that one because i'm just okay with the stock ones 
So here we have the sound mode, one of my favorite things about this ROM, the Viper for Android mode that really takes your music game to the next level. So just hit next and it will start doing its work. As I said, this will take some time. The first boot may take from 15 to 20 minutes, all depends on what package you install as they have different packages for the ROM. So while installing just grab a cup of coffee and relax. Let the phone do its thing and I suggest you to go on the safe side and just plug in your phone to the outlet because this is obviously a power consuming process. So I have skipped through the installation process just to save your and mine time. So just uh, once again just relax and let it do its thing. So our phone has rebooted and uh, we will wait for the first boot as it's going to take like eternity. <laughs> So voila, we are here after the first boot and we're here on the very first screen and this is really nothing special, just to stock things to set your device up. I'm quickly going to go through it. So I'm done setting up my device and uh, this comes with a modded touchless launcher and as you can see that this have a lot of customizability. You can really go to the very limit and make it look like the way you want. The good thing is that you can also uninstall the apps that come pre-installed with this ROM and that is one thing that Samsung doesn't allow you. This does not come with Super SU, instead of that this comes with Majisk root and which is pretty nice to have instead of super su because this allows you to have the root access hidden to other apps such as snapchat block you from logging into your account so the live message feature from the galaxy note 8 where you draw something on the screen and it turns into a gif or gif um let me know what team you are team gif or team gif in the comments below so congratulations on installing custom ROM for your Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate the fact that I've reached 100 subs really quickly. And I request you to subscribe to the channel because we have a goal of reaching 1000 subs by the end of 2017. So please help me in achieving this goal. My name is Roshan and you're watching Gadgetize and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Eight.